after the shock and the, you know, horror and horror, the main thing was embarrassment. Cheap Wine and Poetry started in about uh, May of 2005. I had been going to some local poetry readings with a few pals of mine, and we decided that they just weren't interesting. They weren't fun, they're really pretentious, and you kind of had to be part of this exclusive crowd to be there. So we said, well, why don't we start something that's a little bit more accessible, that something that everyone can go to, whether you like poetry or not, whether you're an artist, or whether you just appreciate a good glass of cheap wine. And as for the semicolon, call it what it is. <laughs> A period slumming with the commas. <laughs> a poser at the bar, feigning liberation with one hand, tightening the leash with the other. Cheap Wine and Poetry crowd is usually made up of writers, old Seattle literati, college students from SU or from the U. People just really enjoy good times. It's a very diverse crowd. Graying birds on a power line, ash and smoke that I will not forget. No kids, no alimony. At least the break was clean. My love is an empty room. I think the best part of Cheap Wine and Poetry is the energy that surrounds it. The look on people's faces when they walk in and see everyone else here and see the readers read. And they're just usually blown away by the atmosphere. The fact that it's so casual, so mellow, but still well organized and definitely about having a good time.